I'm Simon Mole, I'm a poet and performer. My name is Peter Kirk and I'm the director and we're the co-creators of Friends for All. The story follows Lexi. She's eight years old and she doesn't make friends as easily as some. If only her stupid school would allow a non-school uniform day, then she could be herself. She could find others like her. Inspired by some of her granddad's tales from the swinging 60s, Lexi decides to take on the powers that be. What we really wanted to do with Friends For All is make sure that we made a piece of theatre which was not dumbed down for kids. Something which was exciting and complex enough that they could be an active, creative audience. And this is what, our third show together? Yeah. The previous two shows have been families. The first one was very much about interactivity. So, can you put your hand up if you can think of an animal that you would like to see in a dance song? And the second one, yeah. uh, we started to play with digital technologies. So for this show, we wanted to build on some of those things, and we both got really excited by the idea of making a show for a family audience, but accessible, crucially, to a younger age. So this is really for anybody aged six and upwards. Of small but brave explorers as they trek across her sheets or climb the huge duvet mountains of her knees. And with that in mind, our process involved me working with a group of young people, children of about year four, year five, in a local school to us in London. And they fed directly in with what kind of stuff did they find funny, inspiring, entertaining. And that very much was part of the process. So I feel happy and confident that it's something that really will work for young people. Although there's just one live performer in them, Mole, uh, we try and make them a, a kind of widescreen cinematic experience. Part of that this time, a really big part of it, is the virtual performers. So alongside Mole on stage, uh, there's our protagonist Lexi and all her schoolmates. We see them live and they, 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 they respond, virtual actors respond live to what Mole is saying to them. Yeah, it's really, it's really quite incredible to see how young people react to a show, but totally locked and focused in, buying into those other characters. And it feels really important to me with the current political climate that we've got in the world to make a show which as well as being fun throughout, uh, has got a message in it and I believe it's very much about empowering young people to understand that they can make change within the world that they live in. Hippie rap for the whole fam. Is that a rap? I'll just say that again. Hippie, Hippie rap, rap for, for the, the whole, whole fam. fam. Um. A kitten in a tutu versus snake. What's your snake wearing, mate? Let's take it there. Armour. Oh, he's going in. A snake in armour versus a kitten in a tutu. Perhaps the most one-sided dance off. Well, I don't know, we haven't seen their moves. You haven't seen their moves. But is it any surprise, folks, that with dance-offs like that in play, Lexi likes walking to school with her granddad?